Is it going? I just picked a random song. <laughs> wow, can you guys believe it? The top five crew is back. Ready to get back at this. It's been a month and a half. Okay. We're ready, we're recharged, ready to go. We got our friend Phil Scholes here, Mr. Ride the Lightning, because he's in Florida with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Stanley Cup champs. That's right. Present. Um, and, you know, this week, you know, we got a good one for you guys. I couldn't remember if we did this before. I think we did top five re- fast food restaurants. I think yeah. I'm safe. Uh, but this is top five fast food items. The things you get off that menu when you need a drive through, you know, maybe maybe you're a little, a little inebriated, a little bit off, but you, you see that menu and you're like, oh man, like that sounds real fucking good. Well, what was the best that you ever have starting top five as always we start with our guest uh the immaculate the uh the the bearded wonder the the outdoorsman we're going with phil shoals here let's get you to number five fast food item all right my number five is uh is, a, is an item from wendy's and it's a junior bacon cheeseburger um growing up it actually kind of has nostalgic value as well. Growing up, you know, we would maybe once a week, the Shoals family would get fast food. And uh, that usually was either Taco Bell or Wendy's. It was pretty much one of those two, if it wasn't takeout pizza. And uh, Wendy's was kind of always the go-to was the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. It, I, I think it's a really good, tasty sandwich. Um, I That's usually my go-to when I go to Wendy's. Um, and uh, I wouldn't put it at my, at my, in my, you know, I didn't want to put it in my first or second or third or fourth, but I think it, it's, it's uh, fifth is a good place for it. You know, Phil, I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with you here, man. I think that's an excellent way to start off. Uh, the one thing I like about Wendy's is that they actually put like tomatoes and lettuce on their fucking burgers. So even like a cheap burger that you're buying for a dollar, they still throw tomatoes and shit on that. Like everywhere else you go, you got to, buy a six dollar burger to get any of that crap so i'm definitely a fan of wendy's i remember uh my wife ness got her wisdom teeth out we went to wendy's to get her frosty after and she ordered like three junior bacon cheeseburgers and just demolished them right after she got her wisdom teeth out so fond memories for me good pick yeah i can understand the nostalgia part of it <clears throat> but they definitely don't hold up like they used to um, I always felt like they never made the bacon crispy enough on the G bacon cheeseburger. I don't know why. And for me, soft bacon is just the worst. So I do, while I do agree with, you know, especially for the value, you know what I mean? Because I definitely made definitely a lot of trips to Wendy's late night, you know, hitting it up. But I have another Wendy's item on my list, so I'll pass it to Ronnie and see what he thinks. I, I love this pick. Uh, I think Wendy's... Uh, of all the fast food burger chains, I think they actually have the best one. I've had in and out. I've had what a burger. What a burger. Like no one will tell you. What a burger is just Burger King. It's the same goddamn thing. Um, and yeah, I think it's better than McDonald's. I think it's better than Burger King. And like Ryan said, like there's an element of freshness to it. There's it's not just, you know, they they have all this frozen crap. They throw it on and, and heat it up and stuff like that. They actually cook it and prepare it pretty well. And uh yeah I, I used to used to rock wendy's all the time i love it their fries always sucked i think that's what keeps people away they really need to fix those but uh yeah junior bacon double cheeseburger is great uh that's, that's a that's a great number one i think except for danny's hate uh phil but that's to be expected <laughs> so ryan what, what do you think for your number five well i'm also going with uh, a value burger but uh i'm gonna go with the mcdouble from uh mcdonald's i mean i used to be one of those people who used to shit on mcdonald's all the time like oh their food's not good you know only their breakfast is good but you know what mcdonald's is pretty fucking good like it's probably the fast food place i go to the most 
And like whenever I have I have like a busy week and I'm exhausted, I'll go to McDonald's, get some McDoubles, put them in the fridge, wake up on Sunday morning, eat them, and then take a nap immediately. I mean, that's the only reason to wake up on Sundays is to eat McDoubles and to go back to bed. So McDoubles is my number five. Yeah, I mean, I like the solid I mean, McDoubles are solid. I mean, I just you know the one thing I'm gonna hate a little bit on is like it used to be a double cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Like they took away a slice of cheese, son. Like why you gotta be? Come on, man, that's fucked up. And you know what I mean? But in general, you know when I go to McDonald's, um, which I've got a McDonald's item too. But when I go, I definitely it's definitely one of the items that I get uh, more the most frequent probably. So I definitely can agree with it at being number five on the list. Man, talk about nostalgia. The McDouble was my 2000s jam. I would be invited to different houses on Saturdays and uh, Sundays, and I'd show up not having eaten dinner, but I'd stop at McDonald's. I'd get two McDoubles. They were a dollar each back then. Fantastic. Just eat two of them, drink five beers, puke everywhere. It was great. Mm -hmm. Did it every week, (laughs) pretty much every week. Uh, Barry's old house or uh what zen black manor wherever we were used to we're going and uh yeah i mean it, the it jungle two bucks i mean you can't beat two mcdonald's for two dollars how could you do that how could you do that bamboo jungle what <laughs> oh nothing no. <laughs> bamboo jungle i don't know what that is um but yeah uh, i love mcdouble i think mcdonald's is hated on too much they do get a little heavy. I, I don't know about refrigerating them and then eating them cold. That sounds kind of gross, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I love McDoubles. Good pick. Yeah, it was actually, uh, I was, I, I didn't do a lot of research, but I was looking up, uh, actually, my number five was almost going to be, uh, I, I went with Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, but my number five was almost going to be just the straight up regular hamburgers yeah. from McDonald's, only because it's like, it not i don't think these days it's correct i haven't been to mcdonald's in a while i, I, eat, I eat some fast food but i don't really do much mcdonald's i haven't gotten a, cheese, a hamburger in a while but my understanding is that the price of hamburger and cheeseburger back in the day like 15 20 years ago it was like like really freaking cheap you could pay like 59 69 cents for a hamburger whereas now it's not really that much even that much less than some of the other things it's like a dollar 39 or something like that so it's like at that point you might as well just get a bigger sandwich but back in the day when it was like 59 cents i remember i remember in the early 2000s they had a special i don't know if you guys remember this when they had 29 cent hamburger and 39 cent cheeseburger days uh at the at once once uh once a month at the end of each month they would have the it would have that deal uh it's kind of like to honor the prices of what the cheeseburger and the hamburger were when mcdonald's first opened uh, in the 50s or whenever that was and so uh, I remember one time I was like, okay, I'm, I did the math. I was like, I can get five hamburgers and I can, and that'll be my dinner for under a dollar fifty. Like you can't beat that under a dollar fifty and I'm fed. The only thing is after two or three, it's still pretty awesome. But once I get done with the fifth though, I definitely, my stomach definitely felt not that great, but it's still a good deal. You know, it was under a buck fifty. So <laughs> yeah, people these, people these days wonder how, you know, no one ate fresh food or vegetables, you know, back in the 2000s or 90s. And I'm like, do you remember how much this food used to cost back then? <laughs> like, you could eat your, you know, your entire dinner for two bucks. Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah, the, Phil, do you remember like in grade school and like they had the days, McDonald's days, and you can buy like the, they would do like yeah. the same thing basically. They were on the like 49 cent days or whatever. Yep, I remember that. Yeah. That's crazy. Had- All right, so I guess uh, it's on to my, sorry, my. That's on to my number five, right? Yeah. So I went with an, another uh, Wendy's, I feel like favorite. Uh, and this is and the only reason that uh, this one actually made number five and wasn't higher is because there's a couple other sandwiches that in this category that, you know, are close. But for just solidness and time wise, you know, the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's, I mean, I feel like just. Anytime, like, it's, like, it, it never, like, disappoints. I mean, like, I've never had, like, a bad one. Like you said, the lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise on it, always fresh. You know, they have them recently where you can make them a club and put, like, cheese and bacon on it. Um, but I've never had, like, a bad, you know what I mean? Like, something, every once in a while you get, like, a bad 
McDouble or whatever, but I've never had a bad spicy chicken uh, from Wendy's. Uh, they are more, everything's more expensive there, but, you know, especially if, I, I feel like the, the spice level, they got the spice level right, you know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it, but Popeye's is right on their heels. I've had a Popeye's one recently. The only reason I didn't put the Popeye's one on here, to be honest with you, is because for some reason they, like, discontinued it for, like, a decade. I remember having it, like, in, like, 2005, and then it wasn't around. Now they just brought it back, and then they ran out of it, and people were getting stabbed and shit. So, uh, but, yeah, the the Wendy's spicy chicken, my number five. Yeah, this is, this is a great pick. Uh, I've liked everyone's picks so far. Uh, this is, like, you know, before Chick-fil-A, you know, this was easily the best chicken sandwich. And even, I mean, I think it's still better than Chick-fil-A. I think it's so underrated um, because it has all the toppings on it that are fresh. And the the actual, you know, chicken cutlet is like, it tastes like someone actually fried it and wasn't like frozen or anything like that. And um, it's super spicy. You know, it's not like some of those things where you buy, they're like, oh, it's spicy. And it it tastes like, I don't know, Tabasco sauce, but milder. you can taste the the spice, the black pepper, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's always been something that I get. I usually sort of switch off between that sandwich and some other other items, and uh, but I remember eating those a ton in, in high school. Um, used to have a Wendy's near uh, Franklin High School, and we would go there and we just I would just eat classic or uh, uh, spicy chicken sandwiches. Great, great pick, Danny. Thanks, Ron. What do you think, Phil? I, uh, you know, I like, I, chicken's my favorite meat. So yeah, I, any, really any chicken sandwiches or, or any chicken at fast food restaurants, I'm, I'm a fan of, cause, uh, I, yeah, so great pick. Yeah. And I like, I like spicy food. So, um, you know, one of my other picks is actually a, a spicy chicken sandwich from a, from a different restaurant, but, uh, but I certainly do like the one from Wendy's as well. Yeah. What a teaser, Phil. Uh, I mean, the one thing I like about, you know, Wendy's chicken sandwiches, you bite in and you're like, oh, there's white meat chicken. I mean, you bite in a chicken sandwich at McDonald's and you look at it and you're like, what the fuck is this? This is not (laughs) chicken. I mean, this used to be like my go to back in the day uh, from Wendy's. Love the spicy chicken sandwich. I remember one time Connor had us go pick up him a spicy chicken sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. We got him a spicy chicken sandwich, and then we got him an iced tea and had him put mayo in it. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck Connor, great pick. <laughs> wow, all right. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, we're, we're continuing with the vulgarities. All right, I guess it's my turn. Um, I'm going south of the border here. I'm going to Taco Bell. We got the uh, nachos bel grande. Uh, I love Taco Bell. I love uh, the cheese sauce they got there. And then nachos bel grande was always my go-to. Um, yeah, I had the meat, had the tomatoes, sour cream. Uh, their chips, you get soggy because there's so much um, sauce, so much cheese. Yeah, you know, Taco Bell, I know a lot of people hate on it, but <clears throat> I think it tastes, you know, fantastic. And you know, uh, there's nothing more um, American than than screwing up another country's food and making it uh, fast food and uh, and making it delicious. So I know there's a lot of sodium in it. I'm unfortunately well aware of that, but uh, I don't care. You know, every once in a while I'm hungover. I want me some Taco Bell. I want me a Nachos Bell Grande. Uh, and that's my number five. Yeah, um, I think. Uh... I think that's a great pick just because uh, I think uh, like Taco Bell, Taco. it's funny because like most of the fast food that I like tends to be what we would, I guess, consider, you know, better quality fast food. Like we've been talking about like Wendy's or Chick-fil-A or something. And then, but then, but then there's Taco Bell. Like for, for me, that's like the one place where I got to admit the, the food quality is maybe not always the highest, but it, it, it tastes good. And I don't know, it's just like for, like late at night when you're like, especially if you drink, if you had some beers and you just want some, you want to, you're craving some food, Taco Bell can really hit the spot. 
definitely Nacho del Grande is, uh, you know, is delicious. I remember uh, growing when we would get ta- uh, takeout when I was younger. I remember we would get the, the you guys remember the taco boxes they had where you get oh, the yeah. ten, ten yeah. pack and you could add a cu- for a couple bucks more you could get the Mexican pizza and a Nacho del Grande with it. So I got good memories of that and uh, yeah, good pick. You know, Ryan, I can't believe I didn't fucking think of this. Uh, this was, used to be my go-to. It's, it's fucking delicious, but ta- Taco Bell has a pretty good dollar menu, too. So I was just living off the dollar menu for the last fucking five years. I completely forgot this thing even existed because it's so expensive at $3.20 that, you know. But no, like, it's it's still cheap, and you get, like, two pounds of food. You get a lot of fucking food. You got beans and, you know, whatever that meat is, uh... And, you know, cheese and everything, like, it's it's definitely a great pick, and uh, I love it. I can't believe I forgot about it. Yeah, my only issue with the pick is just, like, any issue that I'd have with nachos in general is, like, they don't travel well. So it's like, you better sit down and eat those motherfuckers in the store. You know what I'm saying? Or open them while they're on your lap in the car. Because I feel like you're right on this. Like, as soon as you, you know, by the time you get home, it's like, what, you, like, lift it up, and you can, like, it's like, what is this, yo? You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, no, like, I think that if you eat that when you get that shit fresh, like, right there, right then, eat it. A, a, a very good choice for number five. Thanks, Danny. All right, we're resuming through this. We're going to go to Phil and his, his number four. My number four is actually something. Well, it's a newer, it's a newer uh, menu item, and so I haven't. I probably only been eating it. I probably only ate it for the first time like a year ago. But um, but I've I've gotten pretty pretty into ordering it. Uh, maybe once a couple times a month. Uh, the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of funny because like if I go out and eat fast food, you know, you might as well just go all out and just eat whatever because it's fast food. It's fast food. It's not going to be good for you but i guess psychologically or something there's still something in my head that tells me oh if i get that it's like it's a plant-based burger it's a little bit better for you even though it's still got a like mayonnaise dollop on it and whatever but um but it's good and it's honestly like the i think the you know it's it's it, you, you sure as heck can taste it's not meat but it's definitely i think it's pretty pretty solid what they can do for like imitation meat um in terms of making it still taste good and, uh, you know, the rest of the Whopper is the same, uh, you know, same ingredients. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I have no idea what this is, actually. Uh, so <laughs> I'll go ahead and pass. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've never had it. <clears throat> uh, I'm not. I'm cool with people being, like, you know, vegetarian, vegan, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Obviously, do your thing. My only issue is, like, and if you're going to do it, just like i mean like why why has it got to be a burger can't just be like a piece of tomato on there i mean um just eat some vegetables uh, <laughs> vegetarian um but i got i haven't eat, haven't tried it so i can't i can't hate on it like that like big time so ronnie yeah i've i've had it uh i got one about a month after they they came out uh, i know they're a little more expensive than the regular whoppers but um yeah, I couldn't tell the difference. I honestly couldn't. Um, it was kind of amazing to me. Uh, I looked up, you know, what what the patty was made out of, and you know how they made it because I was thinking to myself, I was like, this is gonna give me some sort of gastrointestinal problem or whatever. And uh, I went down this little rabbit hole of um, you know meat alternatives and substitutes, and you know the sort of cutting edge that they're on right now. And a lot of it's actually made from plant proteins, but they found that when they were making these substitute meats that they actually recreated meat with the plant proteins, if that makes any sense. So the, the, the molecular structure of these patties, they, they literally package them as bloodied patties and they're actually cooked on purpose because you need to get the, uh, the Denard effect or whatever it's called, the um, Raynard effect of searing uh, and caramelization but since the structure of the patties are exactly uh, like that of a real meat it tastes and feels exactly i think the texture is always a problem for people uh for like you know black bean burgers and stuff it's delicious i love it uh, i'm excited to see other meat alternatives come through 
uh, you know, hopefully it's a wave of the future. I, I think the meat market is uh, a bit too much for uh, for the world these days. So uh, I know that's not the answer you guys wanted, but it's the one you got. Uh, so I, I I agree with your pick there, Phil. I think it's great. Um, you know, they so, had they had it they had those on sale for two for six uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, that wow. was actually a week where like four days in a row for lunch. I had two of those for lunch each day. Um, that felt kind of gross, but uh, but it was it was cheap, you know, and that's why I did it. I'm kind of I can be kind of cheap. I don't know. Do you guys think that about me? <laughs> I love fast food. I'm cheap as shit. <laughs> We're having a fast food conversation. The yeah. Dutch are known for being cheap, by the way. I don't know if you guys ever known that, but that's the stereotype, uh, apparently. Anyway. I mean, right. that, that's my one of my number one qualifiers for fast food is that it's cheap. I mean, I'm mm. not going to eat spend a lot of money to mm. eat fucking fast food. That's the whole point of fast food. Right. Is that I'm going <clears> to <throat> order some cheap shit for four dollars, feel fat, right. and then fall asleep. Um, for sure. Value, baby. Value. Uh, all right. I guess Ryan, we're going to your number four then. Well, um, let me know. If this is the bacon cheeseburger again, because it's showing up on that. But my number four is the Taco Bell spicy tostada. Has anyone ever had this? Man. So it's a dollar menu uh, item. It's a tostada with refried beans, tomatoes, lettuce, uh Taco Bell sauce. Uh, it's got everything on there, and it's a fucking dollar. I mean, this is why I forgot about the damn nachos. Is because I've been ordering these things for the last fucking five years, and they just took them off the menu because I was ordering too many of them. They couldn't keep up with the demand. I mean, you know, this thing's vegetarian. It's gluten free. It's for everybody. You can fold it up, order two, and fold it up into a sandwich. So it was the perfect thing, and they ruined it for me. So, but it's still my number four. I'm sorry, I took it off the menu. Um, I've never had it, so I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I've I've never had it either. I'm sure it tastes like everything else from, from Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> because they just eat the same ingredients over and over again, so it sounds good. Um. I guess we'll never get to experience it either because they keep taking it. Taco Bell does this shit, man. They get really, really good items and they just take them away. I think they do it on purpose. I think they know people just sort of come in um, for those specialty items and then they don't want them to get tired of it, so they just take them away. It's like the old McRib effect. Uh, but, you know, what? I, I've never had it, so I'll say it's good. What do you think, Phil? I don't know. I, I Yeah, I... I don't think I've ever had anything at Taco Bell that I like hated, so I probably really would like it. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try that taco that has the Dorito shell or whatever. I haven't even t haven't had that one yet. I know that's been around for a while now, but yeah, but no, I'd probably I'd I'm sure I'd I'd give that a try. Doritos, Locos, Locos Tacos. Tacos. Yeah, <clears throat> that's not bad. All right, so I guess my um, go on to my number four. So, Taco Bell is the theme. So these are like newer ones, but just the old regular double stack taco is one of the best inventions, creations, thoughts that anybody could have, and I'm definitely gonna have one like the next time I have tacos. It's there. It's an amazing idea. And they were amazing at the time. They still are amazing. Uh, if you never had them, I don't even know if they have them on the menu anymore. They'll probably bring them back, like Ronnie said, at some time. But if you haven't, you got to get them. They're fantastic. The double stack taco from Taco Bell is my number four. Yeah, uh, I really like this pick. Um, you know, hard shell tacos aren't really a, a thing in, in Mexico. It's more of an American thing. But... Um, Listen, hard shell tacos break. This does not. This protects the hard shell taco. Um, and you get that nice crunch. And you get uh, Danny's desktop here. And we can see all of his Excel files. And, uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, and, you know, it's, 
it's a it's a great item. I mean, you know, it it keeps it all intact together. You get extra cheese. You get yeah. the soft. You get the crunch. You get the taco filling. Fantastic. Thank you. What do you think, Phil? Well, I I you know I I remember the double decker taco and I did enjoy that. My, so tell me, if, is is this is basically just like the double decker taco except there's this cheese layer between the hard shell and the soft shell? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That sounds good. I haven't had it. Is it. Fantastic. Sounds really good. So there's one that's habanero, huh? Is that one actually pretty spicy? Because the habanero is obviously a hot, pretty hot. They sauce. Had a spicy sauce. I never really messed with it that much. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and agree, but I'll echo Phil's sentiments that they did have a the double deco taco taco, which I prefer, because that has beans in the middle. Mm. And if you get a double decker supreme, that shit was fucking delicious. But uh yeah, I think I think this way is the only way to eat a uh, hard shell taco. I mean, it, trying to eat a hard shell taco from Taco Bell and you take one bite and it fucking falls apart on you. So, <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, you know, be, best of both worlds. So I'm going to go ahead and like it as well. All right. Great choice there, uh, Danny. I guess uh, it's up to me now and I'll. Swing it back to uh, a restaurant not many of us are going to think about, but uh, it's not really a restaurant, it's a convenience store. It's 7 Eleven, and I'm talking about them taquitos. Also, 2000s Ronnie is being channeled right now because, you know, after after some partaking in some festivities, you know, we'd always have a 7 Eleven within walking distance. And uh, these bad boys used to be uh, three for three dollars. And uh, I used to get one of those sleeves, and they put these things in there. You get your buffalo chicken, you get your Monterey chicken, you get your, your taco flavored and your steak. Um, they were a great value. They weren't the greatest uh, for your health, from what I know now. That's why I don't eat them anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, going to 7-Elevens, getting these, some chips, a soda. I mean, that was great, man. I loved it. Taquitos. <clears throat> what do you think, Phil? Uh, taquitos, yeah, I've, I've, I haven't had those a lot, but uh, they're pretty good. I think back in the day, I would get turned off by those, at least at the Berwyn Heights 7-Eleven, the one that I would frequent the most. Uh, it, they oftentimes look like they've been, I guess this goes with a lot of the products, like the pizza as well at the 7-Eleven. They would be, it looked like some of those some of that stuff would just be like sitting there way too long and get kind of like be kind of like dried up looking and like just not that appealing um that so i don't know like but the taquitos are okay I, my thing is always the go-to for 7-eleven if in that same area they where they had the taquitos they had the jamaican beef patties, beef patties. yeah baby. um and who knows the question <clears throat> probably pretty questionable quality of the meat in those but uh you know they, they could hit the spot once in a while and they definitely have a little bit of spice to them. And interestingly, I haven't seen, they don't have those in the 7 Elevens down here. So I don't know if that was more of like a DC, Maryland, Virginia thing or what, but Probably. <laughs> um, yeah. I haven't seen them recently in 7 Elevens around here though either. Oh. Oh, okay. So every once in a while. <clears throat> you know, Ronnie, I'm ashamed to admit that I get cravings for 7 Eleven food sometimes. Like, it's so fucking disgusting and I hate it. <laughs> but I'll be like, oh man, I'm going to go get some 7 Eleven hot dogs and go put nacho cheese on it. And I still do that shit sometimes. But I mean, the the taquitos was definitely like my good when I used to drink. That was my go to fucking drunk food. I'd go in 7 Eleven, get a fucking monster energy drink, three taquitos, and then be up till seven o'clock in the morning because of that shit but uh so i'll go ahead and commend you for picking 7-eleven bold choice and i i like it yeah i mean uh i agree with phil the beef patty i felt like if you could get a fresh one of those but they even had a cream cheese and jalapeno taquito i think um so, so they i mean like yeah they're good and i feel like especially like in a pinch like every i've i've had one like within the last year i don't know how, how you know i don't eat them all the time but like if I'm a, like a, I'm on, like kind of just driving around, I stop in like a 7-Eleven or something like that, and like I haven't had lunch. Like sometimes I'll grab one or two to kind of like tie me over till dinner. But it ha it's been a while. But I mean like you know they I mean if 
if it hasn't been sitting there, I feel like they could be there. They are good, so I'll go with it. Um, but yeah, I think Seven Eleven's trying to step their game up with their food, yo. They're like, you've been to some of them. It's like a little, I don't know, deli kind of looking thing now. I don't know. They're trying in their coffee bars all crazy and shit. They sell whole pizzas now. Um, I remember one time I was going in to get some taquitos pretty late. It's like 3 a.m. The guy, the guy goes to me. He's like, well, I just put them on the roller, so they're still kind of. You know, not really cooked through. I'm like, just give them. To me. Fine. <laughs> He's like, Are you sorry? I took them home. I took them home. I put them in the microwave. They're delicious. They're already pre cooked, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't die. So it's a positive. That's, that's one of the, the best things I could say about fast foods. It didn't kill me. Um, all right. I guess we're up to number three. Phil, what, what do you got? So, number three, I actually have. Um, Again, I think it's kind of a nostalgic product because I used to get it a lot back in the day. Um, just a straight up plain regular bean burrito from uh, from Taco Bell. Um, I, I don't really I think, again, it's one of those products that I think is now it's over a dollar, but or at least around there. But, you know, it used to be it was really cheap and I would buy like three or four at a time. And uh, and uh, yeah. Taco, going with the Taco Bell, you know, anything Taco Bell, I, I generally like. And uh, bean burrito was it's kind of a go-to for me for a long time. Yeah, I think they actually uh, replaced it now. They, it's the cheesy bean and rice burrito now. But mm. it's the same shit, it just has rice in it, and it's still a dollar. Nice. And it's That'd actually be better. better. Yeah, and yeah. it's actually better than the original. But yeah, right. I, would get that, I would get that shit sometimes. I'll go and get, like, the party pack. Where they give you like ten tacos, yeah. you know you got to go like four and four of the you know crunchy and you know the you know the roll up, and then you got to go something different and throw some bean burritos in there. So I like the pick anything Taco Bell. I'm gonna agree with. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you can get that. There's nothing in that party pack, uh, and like include them in the party pack. I mean, I'm not a big bean guy. It's more about the texture. But, like, I'll eat one of them and it'll be good. Like, I'm not – it's not terrible. I just can't, like, pound them. Like you said, you have, like, three or four. Like, I couldn't do that many in a row. But I can understand why I made the list, though, for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I love these things. Um, that Ryan talked about the party pack. Like, back in – when I was in high school, uh, they made you volunteer uh, to get hours to graduate. And I volunteered at a – Taco Bell? No, no, not Taco Bell. I wish. Uh, I volunteered at a, a day camp during the summer for kids, and uh, one of the other counselors told me he could out eat me. And as Ryan knows, that is a big, big mistake. So I suggested him, you know, let's each get a party pack, Taco Bell. We'll see who wins. He's like, all right. I literally, like, I did five burritos, five tacos. I would literally put the burritos inside the tacos or tacos inside the burritos and just eat them. Man, that guy, I think he just, like, puked from watching me eat that much. Uh, I ate the whole thing within, like, 20 minutes. It was fantastic. Well, Taco Bell is delicious. I, I can't stop eating it. It's great. The only thing that stops me from eating it is the, the way it makes me feel, which is terrible. Um, but, yeah, great. This is a great pick. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I guess Ryan, uh, we're up to your number three. First off, audience, don't let Ronnie fucking fool you. I've recently, within the last fucking six months, challenged him to a Taco Bell party pack eating contest, and he fucking turned it down. He fucking ran from it. He ran from the Marvelous Capcom 2 <laughs> contest. He ran from Taco Bell. He ran from a bench press competition. This guy is straight running all the time. That's why he's such a great athlete. <laughs> anyway, uh, my number three, I'm glad I got that off my chest because my number three is Chip Beamer's Oni Pizza. I mean, let me tell you, I never thought pizza could taste so good. I mean, this is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. And nobody can own eat up a pizza like Chip. I mean, that thing is delivered fast and with a smile. You know, I've never really been, you know, a big pizza crust guy. But if Chip is making it, man, crust me up, baby. So, I mean, 
this guy is really putting only pizza ovens on the map by showing what they can really do. Since I've never had a better homemade pizza, it has to be my number three. Yeah, I've never. He hasn't. Um, I'm gonna disagree with that because he's not allowed me to eat one of those. So, <laughs> so as you said, the Connor can go fuck himself. Chip, where's my pizza, at, bro? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna agree with uh, this pick. I think it's a great pick, Ryan. Uh, Chip is a great pizziolo. Uh, he does use gas, which is you know, amongst us pizziolos is frowned upon. Uh, but his pies look good. He's he hasn't invited me over to eat any. I'm pretty sure you haven't eaten any either. I know you have eaten a few of mine, and that's probably why you put this on here. Just try to hate on me. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it was my best batch, but. Uh, making pizza, it's called an uni, by the way. It's an uni oven, uh, pizza oven. Um, making pizza is actually really fun. I, I love it. I don't think it's fast. I don't think it's fast food, so I'm going to give you yeah, negative points. <laughs> you make some fast. Yeah, you make them fast, but uh, preparing and everything is, is a long time. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good pick, but I'm not sure if it fits the category. What do you think, yeah. Phil? I guess I can't really comment. I haven't had Chip's homemade pizza. Um, I'm wondering, did he get the recipe from his wife's side of the family? Not the stereotype, you know, but the whole Italian-American thing going on the Natalina side, right? That is a fantastic question. He gets his dough recipe from me. That's right. Really? Me. I would never have guessed. (laughs) Because it's all about the crust, baby. The crust is the best part. It's got to be good. We are from Jersey, though, right? And that's where... Jersey's got some pretty damn good pizza, I got to say. Better than – it's kind of hard to find pizza in Maryland and D.C. That's as good as some of the pizza I've had up your up in, up your way uh, where you're from up in Jersey. Absolutely. I mean, the pizza around here stinks. But, I mean, there's a few good places. The Some of the more uh, Neapolitan, like the ones that really want to be rustic are, are decent. Um, there's a few good places in the city. Um, but there's nothing like – Northern Jersey, New York. That's that's where pizza's fantastic. It's king. But yeah, there's all that talk that New York is great, but the two things that they did do great, like this was pizza was seemed to be awesome, and then their bagels, you know, are definitely bigger and better, uh, for sure. But I'll go into my I'll go into my number three. Um, uh, mine, I decided to uh, switch up the a little bit here and go a little bit of a different direction. Um, but we did, we are talking fast food items. Um, so my number three is the apple pie from Popeye's. If you've never had a proper apple pie from Popeye's, you have no idea what you're missing. Uh, when it's the right temperature, that cinnamon sugar outside, the apple pie, the warm apple pie, one item, that item, right, every time I go to Popeye's, and I, and I don't always get the same thing at Popeye's, because I like their fried chicken, and I'll get their, also get their sandwich and everything, but every time I go, I'll at least get one, and I usually get two, and then cook one in, like, a toast, cook it in a toaster oven later. Um, they are delicious. They are the shit. If you haven't tried one, you got to get your shit together and get to Popeye's. So that's my number three. Yeah, uh, desserts. I think Popeye's apple pie is probably the best pie. Um, I don't know if I consider Arby's turnovers a pie, uh, but they're pretty good too. I don't know if you had those, but uh, Popeye's apple pie is just covered in in fantastic cinnamon sugar, and they're always really hot, actually kind of too hot. You got to wait for them to cool down, but the yeah. filling's fantastic. It's definitely better than McDonald's, but I mean, their apple pie is good too, but it's definitely better than theirs. And um yeah i I love popeyes uh i think popeyes is vastly underrated compared to other um fast food restaurants and uh their apple pie is no different so great pick danny thanks thank you on on hot street i think uh you know i like apple pie in in general um and uh i i've only think i've had the apple pie from mcdonald's uh i like i like it but uh, i gotta say the picture what, what what I was seeing with all the cinnamon sugar stuff on that Popeyes one definitely looked uh, more appealing than the uh, McDonald's pie. So not much of a dessert person usually, but if I were to get something like that, I'd I'd go for, I'd go for that the Popeyes apple pie. You, you definitely choose it if they were next to each other. You know, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna have to disagree here, man. I'm not. Uh, if I'm going fast food, I'm not really gonna get dessert. I mean, I'm gonna be so stuffed with all the other shit I order that I'm not gonna have room for an apple pie. So I'm always I'm thinking, room for dessert. No. What's up? Isn't that what they say? There's always room for dessert. That's right. Not once you eat fucking two of those chicken sandwiches, baby. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and disagree. All right, we got we got a voice of dissent here, uh, Mr. Mr. Ryan. Let's see if he continues with it, because I'm going the Chick Fil A. I ain't picking chicken. I'm picking their peach milkshake. The peach milkshake from Chick Fil A. I don't know if you guys have had this. Absolutely fantastic. It's got you know real peach inside of it. It's just a vanilla milkshake spun with peach, but it they usually get it out around. Uh, peach season in georgia which is i guess july august and september um so it's a seasonal thing but every year i get one it's better than the shamrock shake which uh i like but um i think chick-fil-a's ice cream or whatever the hell it is uh dairy concoction tastes better and their peach milkshake is fantastic i love it uh nothing puts me to sleep faster than eating a chicken sandwich, waffle fries, and peach milkshake. Also takes me to the bathroom pretty quick, too. Uh, so if you're lactose intolerant, it's not good. But <laughs> yeah, love love the peach milkshake. What do you think, Phil? I think the, uh, I think the, you know, I, I like Chick-fil-A. It's one of my, it's a it's, uh, couple times a month. I probably go a couple times a month with, uh, with, with my wife and my daughter. We go to Chick-fil-A. And uh, I, that sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, I haven't heard of that, and uh, and uh, but I'll be looking. At, I'll be looking out for it because I'm. That's. Uh, thank you, Ryan. That, I'm going to try that next time I go. Is, is they, if, what time? Cool. So they usually have it in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah, it's a summertime thing. Yeah, <clears> right summer. now, it's milk and peppermint season. Ooh. That's good. Well, uh, I'm actually going to skip Phil's number two and get right into my number two because Ronnie, you're wrong. It's not the peach milkshake that you should be talking to. My number two is Chick-fil-A's strawberry milkshake. I mean, if if you know if you know me, you know I love desserts from fast food places. So if I'm <laughs> going to a fast food place, I'm getting a dessert and I'm getting a milkshake every time I go to Chick-fil-A. I mean, Chick-fil-A is using their holy powers to bless every milkshake. I mean, not only that. But they actually bring in Daryl Strawberry to make the strawberry milkshakes. I mean, it's that attention to detail that you're not going to get at other establishments. And, you know, every time we go, my wife always makes sure that they put in two cherries so we can both get one. And they always comply because they're the nicest people in the world. So what is I it with agree the customer with service? What is it with the customer service at Chick-fil-A? Why is it so good there? Do they pay more than the other fast food restaurants? No, I mean, it's just like attitude. You go in there knowing you got to be like that. You know what I'm saying? They actually do. They pay for the, like, college and uh, yeah. education and stuff. They'll reimburse you for that stuff. As long as you're straight. But anyway, speaking <laughs> of, but, um, so, like, so milkshake-wise, Chick-fil-A is legit. Because, like, Ryan said, they, but they also got the mocha, that, the mocha, like, uh, Peppermint milkshake, that joint is is fire too, and I'm not even a big like peppermint person, uh, but that is good. I've never had a full peach milkshake because I'm not a big peach person. Uh, Sophie's had it, uh, and I've had some. It is very good, but like all their milkshakes in general are good. Uh, so I'm not surprised at all that their milkshake is the one that made the list. If it wasn't gonna be theirs, it should have been check. It should be Checkers, but I, I, I think, think the Checkers milkshakes. Which ones are better, Checkers or the or Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. Yeah. yeah. Checkers is really good too, though. I love Checkers too. They're up there. Checkers is up there. Yeah. All right. I guess that's uh, it for the number threes, and we'll hop right into your number two there, uh, Phil. Yeah, number number two is actually a, another Taco Bell uh, item. Um, it's uh, it's the seven layer burrito. Uh, I yeah, it's one of my it's my it's probably my favorite Taco Bell product. It's been a go to of mine at Taco Bell for a long, long time. Um, you know, has a little bit of everything in there that you want, and uh, you know, throw some fire sauce on there, and you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I, I could have made my whole menu of Taco Bell because I <laughs> love that shit so much. And I also could have made my whole menu about Taco Bell because 
all their food is exactly the same. Right. I, I go there and try to mix things up and order different stuff. It's all the different same thing, just put together, you know, put together in a different way. But that's why I love it because everything tastes fantastic. So yeah. I'll go ahead and give a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, to, to echo Ryan there. I mean, I think you know, we talked a lot about Taco Bell in general. I think anything you kind of pick from there, it's kind of like dealer's choice, yo. You know what I mean? Like. You could go tomorrow and you can pick anything and we'd all be fine. And then Ronnie goes the next day and he picks for everybody and we'd all be fine. I mean, so can't hate on another Taco Bell menu. Yeah, I'm echoing those statements. Uh, seven, the Seven Layer Burrito has been around for a while. It's, that's a, one of their older, well, I guess, older menu items. It used to be a specialty item. I used to actually did not uh, like their burritos. I only used to like their tacos. So I would get like hard shell tacos and soft shell tacos and then you know one day i uh ordered like a seven layer burrito uh just to try and i was like man what why have i not been eating these this thing's fantastic it's got like everything in it it's all wrapped up all nice it's not falling apart everywhere so i love that pick uh uh, yeah taco bell everything's great but yeah it does taste the same like (laughs) it all tastes the same so i guess ryan already went yeah, it is number two, right? So it's up to me. So I'm bringing in. So we've talked a lot about Chick Fil A, but I got to bring up personally my favorite Chick Fil A item, which I think should be an all day item, is the chicken mini. The chicken mini is the epitome of this, like you know, one to two bites of deliciousness. And if you can grab a packet of honey, I would recommend you do so and drizzle it on those bad boys so delicious the bread is good um they're just so simple my daughter asks for them all the time she's always like I, like i'm like what do you want to eat she's like i want little chicken sandwiches and i'm like we can only get those in the morning but chick-fil-a listen up buddy okay don't listen to drew Brees. listen to the boys we need the chicken minis there's no way that there's like they're just a nugget in some bread yo make them all day you know what i'm saying like what what's going on it's not like there's egg or anything and i'm like why can they only be in the morning i don't get it bring them all day baby number two for me the chicken mini yeah i'm glad someone picked a, a breakfast item um chick fil A's chicken sandwich or breakfast chicken sandwich chicken biscuit i guess is the best uh and the, and the minis are yeah fantastic um it, it's it's great because like you said, you just take a couple bites and you get their their hash browns too. So it's real quick. It's easy to eat. Uh, and you just put a little bit of honey on them. Yeah. That's all I do. Some, I know some people put jam on them, um, which is cool, or hot sauce. Yeah. Um, but for me, like, just put a little honey on it. It's just like, man, I used to love waking up from drinking on Fridays, on Saturdays from people's houses and driving back and getting, t- uh, and getting Chick-fil-A breakfast. But then... I would hate waking up on uh, Sunday mornings from Saturdays because of Chick-fil-A breakfast was closed. So, uh, great pick. But what do you mean? The thing is, I don't understand why everyone was mad about it. They have to get their holy water on Sundays to bless their chicken for the rest of the week. I mean, or else the shit wouldn't taste as good. I mean, they make all their shit with holy water. You know what I'm saying? That's why the milkshakes are so good. Yeah. It's good point. Sorry. So. Phil, sorry. I like, uh, you know, again, chicken is my favorite meat. Um, it's usually my go-to. I didn't really even know. I didn't really know that. I guess I didn't really even. I've never had the breakfast at Chick-fil-A. But I didn't even really that. know they had. I didn't know they really they had a breakfast menu. Um, I would definitely try that uh, because you know I like chicken. So yeah, yeah. The chicken and cheese biscuit too. Oh, delicious. Yeah. So you when you buy it, you buy like you buy like multiple ones at once. It's like. Well, for the chicken minis, like there's like kind of four packs, but I always okay. I, I usually get the ten pack. Okay. I won't get, but you don't get like hash browns with it, so that kind of sucks. But I mean, I guess you can just add them, but I right. usually just get the minis. Now I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with this. Uh, I don't I don't want ten mini sandwiches. I want one regular sandwich. I mean, I hate fucking small food. I mean, I hate going to fucking tapas place. I get fucking pissed. <laughs> If I eat my meal and then I'm still hungry, <laughs> no. Uh, it sounds like a lot of work to put honey on ten different things. Uh, just give me one fucking sandwich. 
And I don't even, you know, I'm not a huge breakfast person either, so. What are you doing with the extra 30 seconds you're saving for putting the honey on, David? Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. All right, well, that's that. I guess Danny's, Danny's receiving a lot of Ryan hate today. I don't know what's going on. That'd be like a pre-Thanksgiving <laughs> fight or something. Yeah. He's gearing up. There's know. a lot of agreement going on. A lot, a lot. He usually challenges me, but he's going after Danny today. I don't know why. All right. Uh, I guess we're on to our... Uh, oh, it was my number two. Yeah. Oh, shit. Forgot. My number two. Uh, let me get it up real quick. Give me a second. My number two hasn't... Uh, the restaurant hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, it is one of the better uh, restaurants. I'm, I'm going to get the picture. Fuck it. It's Popeye's Chicken, baby. Popeye's okay. Chicken is the best fried chicken there is i mean chick-fil-a yeah i'm sorry your fried chicken's wet because it's on sandwiches and it's wet but it tastes good but it's not it's not popeyes and kfc is just trash i've had churches not great bojangles bojangles is actually kind of good but i still prefer popeyes uh yeah it's it's super crunchy uh, I love their sauces that they come with. The sides are fantastic. It's a little expensive though. I think that's my only knock on Popeyes. It can be, it can be kind of expensive. But uh, you know, if you told me to go get uh, a nice fried chicken, you know, home style meal, I'd definitely go to Popeyes and get their like ten piece or something like that. I think that'd be a great family meal. I've actually uh, almost eaten a whole one of those myself, but you know. It's probably not good for you. So uh, I love Popeye's fried chicken. That's my number two. What do you think, Phil? Uh, yeah, it's, it's you know Popeye's chicken. I've probably only had a handful of times, honestly. Um, but yeah, for me, but it's good. Yeah, I mean, I love. I don't really. I don't know if I would really know that much of the, what the difference would be between trying like. Is there that much of a difference between KFC fried chicken and Popeye's okay. fried chicken? You would say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Astronomical. Because I've had KFC a, a number of times more than I would have had Popeyes, and I like that. So if if, if you guys say the Popeyes is better, then you know I'm sure I would I would like that as well. So good pick. You know I'm I'm not a huge fried chicken person in general, but I agree that like it destroys KFC. Because I remember going to that KFC in Brown Heights that was across from uh, Checkers. And like looking at it, I'm like, why would anybody go to KFC when Popeyes is right across the street? Like it fucking crushes uh, KFC. So I'm not a huge fried chicken person, but if I am gonna eat fried chicken, I'll go to Popeyes. So I'll agree with this, uh, especially if you're saying spicy. Like this, this almost made my list, but I had the apple pie on there, so I didn't want to go too crazy with. Popeyes and I had a lot of chicken stuff already but spicy there's like and it was specifically their spicy chicken that would have made my list because funny enough is their regular chicken is not bad either but I actually kind of prefer Royal Farms regular chicken but if you're just talking about like what would you want to go get like for, for I would say go give me the spicy chicken from Popeyes and then if you're just talking about like regular fried chicken you know the Royal Farms chicken is tight yo I'm not gonna lie it's good it's like it's legit it's big you know, I mean, price-wise, it's good. Um, but yeah, the spicy chicken from Popeyes is unmatched. I feel like, uh, you know, it's like, why would you even get the regular? I don't know. Like, the spicy is just that good. So, yeah, I agree uh, with that one. Good pick. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. All right, I guess we're rounding it out now. We're at our number one here for uh, for Phil. So let's see what you got. Uh, going with Chick-fil-A. This is my num- uh, This is what I was giving the tea. Are you muted? No. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Danny, was it you that mentioned the spicy chicken earlier from uh was it Wendy's? Yep. yep. Yeah, so I, I like I like that, but I also uh, my number one is the uh the spicy chicken deluxe from Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. Um I like I like that and I also like to put the uh I like the Chick-fil-A sauce that they have. I think that's a good sauce tastes really good so i like to put that on the on the spicy chicken deluxe um again you know so just a lot on the sandwich and uh yeah number one 
Yeah, I'm. I'll go ahead and agree. I think. Uh, I think it's good. Um, the only problem I have with it is that I'll eat a fucking sandwich and be like, I need another sandwich. I'm still hungry. Right. You're right. And it's more expensive, right? It's not so cheap. Yeah. I mean, b- besides that, if you're well, like quality wise, quality yeah. wise is good. And then I can go, you know, I go get a sandwich. I split a milkshake and fries with my wife and that 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 will fill me up. So if we're going there for a whole meal, I, I like the pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like the reason I had my Wendy's at number five was because I actually I do like the sandwich as well, the spicy chicken from. Uh, but like the regular sandwich, I think the regular sandwich is better. Um, but the spicy because I have been eating it, uh, had it uh, more recently. But I do feel that even on like when you're comparing the three, I mean I put Wendy's above Popeyes, kind of just out of like respect for Wendy's, but like. In all honesty, if like Popeyes keeps their, that on and they keep on producing like they are, like that spicy chicken sandwich is better than like any spicy chicken sandwich. So that's why I had it at number five was because there's so many good. There's like I feel like there's multiple good spicy chicken sandwiches out there. Um, so I am not gonna hate because that's one of my favorite foods to get out uh, is spicy chicken. So yeah, I mean I can't I can't disagree with. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. Uh, I get them all the time. There's one on the way home, like literally two minutes from us on Georgia Avenue. Um, and, you know, you know exactly what you're getting um, every time. I think that's one of the best parts of it. I like their honey mustard, too, put on the, on the sandwich. So good. Yeah. Um, I think, though, the, for me, like, if you're asking me which chicken sandwich is better, I can't put it above Popeye's just because... Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich, like Ryan says, a little small, but I I do have a tough, I used to have a tough time with like the the texture kind of, because it's not like crunchy. Like I, I need a crunch. It's sort of like a, a wetter sort of batter. It's still like, you know, sort of moist, I guess. Um, but it's good. I love it. Um, but if someone asked me if I had to pick a chicken sandwich, I'd definitely pick Popeye's over it. Well... That leads pretty well into mine because my number one is the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I mean, there's a reason I couldn't give Phil a bunch of love because they're in direct competition with each other. I mean, there's a reason why people get stabbed over these things. I mean, mainly because Popeye has an incredible marketing team and they're paying people to go stab people to create buzz around their sandwich, you know. But other than that, it's delicious. I mean, not only delicious, these settings are huge. I mean, I talked about how I'll eat a Chick-fil-A and need another sandwich, not with Popeyes. I mean, I eat one of those and I'm fucking done. I mean, this is America. More is better. And, you know, Popeyes sweet heat sauce is the best fast food sauce there is, hands down. Put it over any Chick-fil-A sauce that they have. Throw some sweet heat sauce on there. And it's the perfect sandwich for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I literally just talked about this sandwich for I feel like a couple minutes, so I'm not, I won't go into depth about it. It's a great pick. Um, you know, can't have too much chicken. Love chicken. Uh, go chicken. I'm more of a chicken guy when I'm out uh, and about anyway. So, uh, yeah, go for it, man. Chicken it up. Popeyes, the shit. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> like I said, also, um, love Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Love it, how super crunchy it is. It's definitely more substantial. Um, yeah, what's weird is, like, I, I didn't really... I, I like the regular one better than the spicy one because they just put, like, seasoning into the mayonnaise, I think. Um, but their pickles are better, too. Like, their pickles are really good on their sandwich. I think they're better than Chick-fil-A's as well. And, and the bun holds up better. I think Chick-fil-A's bun gets a little... Uh, it's a little moist and it's sort of like it's a little squishy. I didn't. Uh, I'm not too, too much big of a fan of it, but um, you know, Popeyes definitely hits all the notes, and they got Popeyes chicken, which I already said I loved, and I I stand by that. So, uh, Phil, what do you think about the uh, Popeyes chicken sandwich? get together and drive around and go eat some fast food and ch- uh, uh, chicken sandwich get some chicken sandwiches and some taco bell and 
go to stop at the liquor store, get some St. Ides. What do you think? Special brew. <laughs> wash it down. Wash down the sandwich. You got to wash down the sandwich or something. Uh, but yeah, no, that's a great pick for sure. I agree with everything Phil said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to my number one. Um, so we have to consider here, this is a f- favorite fast food item. And if you have a child, your favorite fast food item is a Happy Meal. It's a fast food item. A Happy Meal is the best thing in the world as a parent, okay? I don't care. That's why I go to McDonald's so much now. You know, the other, these, these other places got to step their game up, all right? Like, Chick-fil-A is just giving out, like, you, you draw on the bag and shit. Like, no one wants to do that. Like, they want a toy, you know what I'm saying? These shut the kid up. They'll eat. They actually now they're like they they're not as bad because they actually have some apple slices in there. And the kids for some reason think that these apple slices are different than any other apple slice out there because they're special in the bag from McDonald's, uh, in a in a box with a toy. Um, but yeah, if you're a parent, your favorite fast food item is a Happy Meal. Okay, it's only like three twenty five or something still. So, I'm telling you, the Happy Meal. Yeah, man, I can't argue with this. Uh, talk about nostalgia. That was uh, one of the things when, when I was little that you always look forward to. I guess that's what kids still look forward to is whenever their, their parents take them out, they can get a Happy Meal from McDonald's. Um, did Danny leave? Um, <laughs> that's it. He's out. <laughs> he's out. Uh, but, yeah, like uh, you, you think about um, – just the the toy that comes with it too it was kind of cool like i I like looking at that picture that you had and uh, you used to be able to get milkshakes with it instead of soda Um, i guess they have like apples and milk now never get apples and milk that's terrible Uh, i don't know danny do you have the mcdonald's app you know there's like a a day of the week where it's like only a dollar if you get a meal what no i'm gonna have to download that baby yeah i don't know if it's like just local to my my uh store but um we definitely have it over here so you might you might have it too um yeah love it have to check it out what do you think phil what do you think about happy meals anyone want to (laughs) do a voiceover phil we can't hear you (laughs) do you have your hand over the microphone do I? I don't know. Yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. So the, okay, that's what it was. <laughs> what did you miss? Did I say, did you hear anything? Not on that, no. <laughs> it's a good choice. I have a daughter. She's two. She likes toys. So I like to treat my daughter. Uh, so when I can go and get her a Happy Meal that, you know, yeah, I, I don't, we haven't really, like I said, we don't really go to McDonald's much. So I can't, I'm not going to, definitely not going to hate on the pick because it's a good pick. But, um, but we yeah, Chick-fil-A, I know when we go there, we get, you know, it's true the toys are not as exciting. Uh, I can't say that my daughter's as excited about getting a small children's book as she would with probably some other kind of a toy. Uh, <laughs> I think I get more excited probably because I'm like, oh, I'm going to read the story to her when I get home, you know, or try to put her to sleep and read a book to her. Uh, but, but you know, yeah, good pick. Yeah, I'll go ahead and agree with the pick. I feel like a lot of, after McDonald's came out with this, like every fast food place tried to replicate it. And no one could yeah, like they, cool. you know, Burger King came out with stupid toys like everyone like Taco Bell did it, everybody. And for some reason, no one could get the formula right. And they had like some pretty cool toys like back in the day. They used to have like uh, their they, like their items on their menu that turned into dinosaurs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, like That was cool and shit like that. Uh, I haven't been following. uh what they're making now, but maybe I'll go get a fucking you know Happy Meal tomorrow if it's a dollar. They put do they do like everything that's f- fresh? Yeah, so there'd be like Frozen Two stuff or you know what I mean, like toy yeah. or um or like what was one of the ones that was just out? A uh, Toy Story, you know the Toy Story ones. It's Monster Inc. They'll do like everything that's fresh, yo. I'm telling you. I hate everything made out of after '95, so. <laughs> Yeah, download the apps to, to different fast food places. A lot, a lot of times they give you deals from doing that. I mean, the converse is like you're like eliminating jobs, so maybe don't do it too much. But um, 
Yeah, it's it's uh they got some good deals on it. No, download Chick Fil A app. They give you free stuff all the time. Download yeah. Donald's app. They have crazy deals every day. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, I guess it's uh my number one. I glad I'm glad no one's even broached the uh, the the food subject. No one's even mentioned the food, the quintessential side for fast food and the best version, Arby's. Curly fries, baby. My favorite French fry ever. They're seasoned very well. They're super crisp, crunchy. They're huge. Uh, Arby's is a is. I like a lot of Arby's stuff to be honest with you, but their curly fries are just. It's such a great compliment to the sandwiches. A lot of times you go to places and like Wendy's has struggled over the years with their French fries. Burger King has, even Chick Fil A. Man, I'm I'm not sold on the waffle fries. Um, I used to go to Chick-fil-A, get the sandwiches, and go to McDonald's and get their fries because they're better. Um, and McDonald's McDonald's fries are, are definitely a close second, but and checkers, but Arby's fries are, are the best, especially like when you're eating a beef and cheddar sandwich, you get a little bit of cheese, put on the curly fry, a little bit of Arby's sauce, man. Ah, I love that stuff. Curly fries from Arby's. What do you think, Phil? Uh, looks good. It looks a little bit like uh, I've never. See, Arby's honestly is one of the fast food restaurants I've rarely eaten at. I, I I don't know if it's just me or if you guys think that's true as well. But I, I feel like Arby's is not that widespread compared to some of the other fast food restaurants. It's not. Um, yeah. like, I don't live near one now, and I don't think I lived near one in Berwyn Heights. There wasn't one growing up, right? Anywhere near there, or at least Belts, not, not Beltsville. Up in Beltsville, yeah. Okay, so not. I mean, you know, there were other ones closer, but in any case. I, uh, it looks good. I mean, it looked a little bit like the fries, the curly fries of checkers. Are the checkers fr- uh, curly fries similar in taste, you would say? Or because I like those fries. But curly fries from checkers. So they, ha- they have curly fries there? They have seasoned fries. Their fries they're are seasoned. very good. Too. They're, they're seasoned, seasoned fries. Seasoned. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Checkers do, doesn't have really good fries. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good pick. I think it was a bold pick, Ronnie. Uh, Best fast food fries? I don't know, but I I like anything that's not a regular fry. Like I, I'll take curly fries or waffle fries or potato wedges or anything over regular steak fries. fries. Any, eh, not steak fries, but anything. <laughs> I hope you're not gonna say crinkle cut. Crinkle cut's terrible. No, those crinkle. No, those are the worst. Then regular fries. Bowling alley crinkle cut. <laughs> Delicious. What about those smiley face ones you can buy in the uh, in the supermarket? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> decent pick. Bold statement. I'll pass to Danny. Yeah, I think McDonald's fries are a little bit better. I'm not hating completely on the Arby's fries. I'm just not like a huge fry guy. But because the, the thing is, the one of the reasons I'm gonna hate on it is because I mean you can get mozzarella sticks at Arby's. So, like, every time I go to Arby's, it's like, are you kidding me? And if I'm choosing between mozzarella sticks and fries, I'm getting mozzarella sticks every time. I'm just saying. And their mozzarella sticks are on point. So, um, I'm not going to hate a little bit just because I think the mozzarella sticks, which you're able to get at Arby's, are delicious. So, uh, that's my go-to. But Hey, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. We all have our, our preferences. So, uh, all right. I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, we went through our top five. Uh, before we end the show, though, we always like to end with a uh, a prayer. No, I'm kidding. Uh, an ethical question. Uh, and, you know, this week's ethical question is all about politics. Oh, no. We love politics. <laughs> Saving this one for Phil. Phil, if you objectively lose an election, just get absolutely crushed <laughs> an election, is it okay for you to just sue at infinite and 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 not acknowledge it well who's saying it's who's saying it's you who's saying that the uh, uh, election was objectively lost npr pbs i'm just kidding no i <laughs> no i mean i don't know you know it, yeah if it, objectively sure i mean for, uh, then it probably is good to concede i think uh america is a uh, a great country and uh we look we 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 should be an example We've always been a shining light to the rest of the world for a uh, hundred, uh, you know, uh, many years now. And uh, that makes me proud to be an American. And uh, I think uh, if we have all this mess going on with the elections where uh, 
the everything that you're seeing right now with what's happening makes us just look it's kind of embarrassing to, uh, in front of the rest of the world and uh as an american um uh, it makes me kind of sad and disappointed to see it especially when you know you have a lot of people on um, who who really do think that this is a fraudulent election um and that joe biden has won the election unfairly uh through fraud um i think the implications of that down the road could be more polarization and more divisions between americans and more in our society and i think that is not good for our country and uh you know i have friends on both sides of the aisle and so i try to just be i, I try to see eye to eye with people as much as i can and you know try to get beyond politics with people because i think that in and of itself will if people can do that and find the find a way to do that 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 in and of itself could could really go a long ways to making the polarization less it's just get to know people on the other side more um you know i don't know that's my two cents <laughs> um so i'm gonna follow Phil. Oh, ryan sorry guys you can go so um funny enough is i kept on getting this text message from somebody from the democratic party but going up to the election calling i kept on saying like hi betty this is steve or whatever you know <laughs> so after the third time i'm like look motherfucker, this is not betty all right stop texting me and betty's not um, betty doesn't care and he's like well sir who do you who are you going to vote for and i was like i'm actually south african i'm not allowed to vote but if i did going to vote i'll vote for whoever takes power i'm not going to vote for someone i want them to take power that's who i'm going to support and I didn't realize how true it would be. This guy's just trying to <laughs> snatch that power. Yo, he's like, I'm in power yeah. now. Try to get me out of this seat. I mean, I think like back in the day, it was a little bit like if you were like a king, right? You're like, get me out of my throne. There's like an actual seat that like you gotta just get somebody out of. I think he thinks that that's actually he if he can't doesn't leave his office chair, that he doesn't have to leave the White House. Um, so there's some problems there with. Uh, his thinking but i guess technically if i'm going with what i told steve or with what betty told steve i guess you you gotta do what you gotta do to hold power i don't know what else to say you know yeah i think the i think the motto of america is you know me first everybody else later and if the leader of our country isn't upholding those standards for the rest of us i mean who else would he's our leader he has to take me first over everything. And, you know, you talk about these kings and stuff like this. They still have fucking British royalty doing nothing and getting paid millions of dollars a year. Fucking we should just make fucking Donald Trump king and pay him millions of dollars a year to waste money and walk around stupid fucking dogs. I mean, so, yeah, fucking don't give up that seat. Let somebody take it for you or try to. Or give you something to just go away. You know, nothing's free. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's great. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, I love every minute of it. Uh you, you knew this was coming. And it's it's just so funny for me because everyone's like, oh, let's go vote them out. Let's go vote them out. This is all over on November third or November fourth. I'm like, I don't think you've been watching the last four years. This is never over with this man, and, and it's it's great. Like he's just gonna he's gonna beat this drum for four years, and he's gonna run again. There's no way Joe Biden's gonna be dead by 2022. It's gonna be him versus Kamala, and he's just gonna beat this drum for four years, get everyone pissed off, and then he's just gonna take it back and be see. I told you so. He's gonna do hella rallies for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's just, he's just he's literally gonna make so much money off a of rally. He's gonna rally for four years. It's it's yeah. the greatest scam ever. He's doing it right now. He's sending out all these emailers to people. People are giving his campaign so much money so they can pay off, you know, all these like all these um, lawsuits and stuff and all the campaign debt. And yeah, the man's a genius. He's getting money for free. Like, and Ryan's right. That's the American dream. It's scamming doing. people out of money, just scamming the whole country. Donald Trump, you're the greatest. I love you. I bet you. I bet you. Dead Joe Biden votes for Harris. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Joe Biden's going to cast his ballot two years after he's dead for Kamala Harris. Well, it, it was Eric Trump's wife announced today she's running for Senate, so in North Carolina. So we'll have another. It will have another Trump in Congress. Yeah, wow. come come work with me, man. That's right. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> she's attra she's attra she's attractive, you know. But I don't know if I can say much else positive about her. But 
<laughs> all right. Well, this was fun, but all the good things come to an end, except for fast food. That'll never come to an end. It's delicious. You should all eat more fast food. Quit hating on it. Um, so we wanted to thank Phil for, for joining us. We want to thank our loyal viewers for joining us again. Drew Brees, we're sorry about what happened to you, uh, but you kind of deserved it. Um, and, you know, better luck next year. Jameis is taking his rightful uh, place as, a, as the Saints take, you know, quarterback. So uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. See you, everybody. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, thanks Phil. Phil. Thanks for having me, guys.